Finally, Animate gets motion paths. If there was one aspect of Animate that drove me up a wall across the ceiling and down the other wall, it was attempting to get the motion of, say, a leaf falling out of a tree to look somewhat real. It involved a serious number of keyframes and X and Y motion. That frustration is now gone and my therapy bills have vanished. In this example, I want a blossom, which is right here, to follow a meandering path down the stage. So I just want it to sort of meander down the stage. I select the blossom in the properties panel and then open up the position and size properties. And you can see that motion paths is there. So I select that and auto orient is also an option. And I select that. Now, auto orient keeps the object moving down the path oriented to the path. So if you've got cars going around a racetrack, you can get the nose of the car to follow the path rather than having to constantly rotate it. To actually add the motion, what I do is I just add an XY keyframe here for position. You can see there it is, location. And I'm going to come out to the two second mark. And I'm going to drag the leaf down. And you can see immediately there is a blue line. Now I'm going to zoom in here because I want you to take a look at this uh, blue line. Notice that there's an arrow here and at the bottom of the uh, path there's another arrow. This shows me the direction of the path. It's a nice little visual clue showing you which way it goes. To change the path, I simply place my cursor on the path, and you can see that it changes to a pen. One click on the path, and I've got a nice curve that I have added, and I can just yank the points to create the path. And if I want to change the curvature of the path or whatever, just like I would do in other applications, just yank out a handle. And if I zoom out, we can see that this leaf follows that path. And you notice that the orientation as well gives the leaf a little bit of a more of a natural look. Okay, I'm going to zoom back in here because I want to show you a couple of things you can do with these things. If I want to remove an anchor point, so I'm just going to add one here. I go, oops. I simply Option or Alt click on it and it's gone. What if I want to move it to another position? I hold down the command or the control key and click and drag and you notice that the entire path moves. Now here's the cool thing about that. If I press the space bar you'll notice that the object attached to the path also moves. Okay I'm going to put the path back. And of course what I should be doing here is applying a little bit of easing to this Path. So I'm just going to go to the ease properties. I'm going to apply an ease out, and we'll just give it. Oh, we'll give it some cubic. We'll give it a cubic ease. There we go. Now, what if I want to have a lot of falling blossoms? No problem. I simply select the transition strip, copy it, Control or Command C, and then Control or Command V to paste it. And if I come across here, you can see I've got the transition strip here. And I'm going to add another one. And you'll notice that the pasted copy is goes right to where the timeline or the playhead is located. And I'm going to grab this transition. I'm going to pull it in about a half to about half the uh, distance. So we'll make it uh, one second. And of course, it's in the wrong place. I don't want all of them happening at the same place. So I'm just going to move this path, say, to here. And I'm going to come across. I'm going to zoom out a little bit here. And I'm going to pull this path in here. And there's the other path. Again, command, click, drag. And what I have now are staggered transitions. And if I press the space bar, you can see that I've got leaves that fall at random times. 
So there you have it, Edge Animate CC. In this video, I've shown you how to change the color of a timeline item, how to use the new eyedropper tool for sampling color, how to use an Edge web font in a composition, how to apply filters and some of the pitfalls, and how to use the new motion pads. My advice to you is to grab a copy of Edge Animate CC and start to play. Along the way, you're going to discover something I did. This application is fun.